hey guys welcome back to another episode so in this episode we will be implementing vuex in our project so let's get started now let's move on into our code editor and to this admin.js let's import vuex like this from view uh, vuex and then we need to use that so let's use before router though so like this and obviously uh, then we will be creating some folder structure let's close those down and into the src we'll create another folder and we will be naming it as a store like this and inside the store we will have some files let's first one is index.js all right so we need to import it into the admin.js as well so let's do that real quick so what we can do we can do it here let's say import store from uh, we are in where obviously you need to go back a directory and then a store and then index all right now we need to pass this store into our main uh, view instance as well like so all right so now we are ready to use our vx view x now let's go back into our stores index.js real quick and here we also actually need to import a uh, few things this is view from view like this and then also view x view x okay now we will be creating some more files actually but before that let's use that view x here x like this okay okay so and then uh, we actually need some more uh, files into the store because we also implementing our actions also we need our getters and then also we need our mutations.js as well so let's create those files real quick all right now let's go back into the index.js and we can import those things so let's go into the action first and just export our constant before we can use those things so we can say export default or just export const let's say actions like this okay for now let's keep it blank and also let's copy this and for the getters as well as for the mutations like this okay now we are ready to use those things into our index.js so we can say import uh, getters okay from from the getter structures and let's just duplicate those things we can say okay sorry you can say uh, mutations like this and can say mutations and then the actions also the actions great so we have an error let's see what happening well let's move on first create our uh, uh, vx store instance then we can deal with that so we can say export 
default new and then the few x dot store like this which will obviously have some objects as well so let's give it state first okay let's keep it empty right now and then we will pass our actions and then getters and then mutations like so so now if we go to our console and as you can see our error is gone now because we haven't initialized those things that is why it is it was giving us just a warning all right now if we go our backend and just hit a refresh to see whether is any error is occurring or not let's check into the console yes we have no errors so we are good to go now let's move on to our uh, general tab where we actually needs to create some kind of a form in order to add some data or show some data so let's create a form here like so and we actually do not need any action just pass an id we can say uh, let's say wpvk uh, general settings form okay so inside the form we can create a table like uh, how uh, Ucom, uh, how wordpress gives you a table structure by which you can um, uh, get the benefit of wordpress css so that is why we are implementing table and adding some wordpress classes so that we do not need to write extra css okay so we can use form table class like this and we can say role to presentation like this and then t body and said that we can pass tr and inside the tr th which will have a scope scope of row and then we can pass a label like so and this is for the first name and uh, let's say first name like this okay now we can just copy this and then we can say last name Thanks. and also let's put another for the email now we also need to pass the input field so let's do that so inside the td we can take an input with the text type and let's put the id to first name and the class we'll use a wordpress class so we can say regular text like this okay so let's copy this paste it here and this is last name and let's put it here and this is email and we can say our type from text to email and finally we need uh, some sort of uh, what we can say button let's take a p tag with a submit class and let's take a button now with type of submit and also let's take the class to button and button pri primary now always try to use uh, as much as possible using a uh, wordpress class so that you need to write less css in terms of when you are working into the wordpress admin if you want to have a native look of wordpress that is very helpful 
okay so we can say save all right so and i think we need another thing after the form that wordpress uses this is a div we can say like div dot clear like so that will clear any auto fix okay so now let's go back and just reload the page we should see a form here nice very nice beautiful form which is using every wordpress table classes and button classes so we can say let just like say settings like this button looks a bit small so i just increase some kind of text so this is our form this uh, from where we will be submitting our data through the vuex and storing it into the wordpress as well so that is it for this episode so let's just a uh, quick recap what we have done we obviously created a uh, simple form sub form uh, submitting form from here from general tab and we also sets up our view x things we imported our vuex library here we use it into the, our view instance and we also create a store folder in where we created four files index actions getters and mutations now into the index.js we obviously uh, imported those scripts that we have need and then we uh, imported our getters mutations and actions and then we passed everything into our vuex.store instance right so into the next episode we are going to start implementing our vuex things in terms of savings the data so see you in the next video.